Good morning everybody. You are all welcome to the part 3 discussion, the final round discussion on the topic, the fundamentals of retrosynthetic analysis. In this section, we like to cover synthon, the classification of synthon, naming of synthon, certain synthons and their synthetic equivalence, more about the synthons, more about the synthons. You know, synthons are the fragment obtained by the uh, discussion, cleavage of the bonds. Then, synthons are identified or named based on the reactive center of, reactive center present in the synthon. For example, consider a molecule like this, a molecule like this. Now, let this be the functional group, functional group. This X is a throw atom, X is a throw atom, functional group. Now, Suppose this carbon atom is reactive. This carbon atom is the reactive center. Then we named this synthon or this molecule as the synthon what is called the D1 synthon or A1 synthon depending on the charge of the carbon atom containing function group. That is C1 is A1 D1. D1 A1. They say this D1. Suppose this carbon atom carries a positive charge. Then we call them, we call it as what is called an acceptor syndon. A1 syndon. A1 syndon. Because it can accept electrons. Then if it carries a negative charge. If it carries a negative charge, then we call it as a D1 syndrome. D1. The superscript 1 indicates that the carbon atom of the functional group is reactive. Carbon atom of the functional group is reactive. Say D1. Suppose the carbon atom near to the functional group contains carbon atom. The carbon atom near to the Functional group containing borrowed atom is reactive. Then we call it as D2 syndrome or A2 syndrome. This is carbon number 1, carbon number 2, carbon number 3, carbon number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Say if 2 is the reactive center, we call it as D2 or A2. Then if it carries a positive charge, we call it as what is called a acceptor syndon, A2 syndon. Then if it carries a negative charge or syndon, it is called as a D2. Similarly, similarly, uh, this is what is called alpha carbon atom. This is called alpha carbon atom, this is called beta carbon atom, gamma carbon atom, etc. Then if the beta carbon atom carries either positive or negative charge, then we call it as what is called A2 or D2. Sorry, A3 or D3. If the third carbon atom or beta carbon atom carrying a negative charge, we call it as D3, donor 3. Then if it carries a positive charge, it is called A3. Likewise, D4, A4, etc. etc. So this is a way of naming or uh, naming the syndrome. Now, but sometimes the functional group say suppose the functional group carrying Say so, for example, another one is D0 or A0. 
D0 synthon, A0 synthon. That is D0 synthon or A0 synthon. What do you mean D0 synthon? D0 indicates that not the carbon atom. The reactive center is not the carbon atom, but it is a part of group. It is a part of function group. Say, for example, say CH3S minus. CH3S minus. Then this is a synthon where the hetero atom is the reactive center but carbon atom is also part of group carbon atom is part of, is a part of the functional group such a functional groups are such a uh, the synthons are called d0 or a0 0 indicate means not carbon atom but the hetero atom since uh, this is a donor one donor one this is what is called donor d0 synthon this is what is called a D0 synthons. Then again, so consider another one that is PCH3 plus carrying a positive charge. Carrying a positive charge. Now this is also a synthon. So synthon, it is a carbon atom, it is a functional group, but Phosphorus is the P is the reactive center, not carbon atom. Hence, it is called a zero, no carbon atom, but hetero atom. But it is an acceptor one, which is called a zero synthon. What is called a zero? A zero synthon. So, what is D zero? A zero. D zero means it is a donor one. It carries negative charge, but the carbon atom of the functional group is not at all reactive center. It is the uh, it is a hetero atom present in the group is reactive. A01 is an acceptor synthon or electron division to one where the hetero atom present in the group functional group is reactive. So A0, D0, then D1, A1. D2, A2, D3, A3, D4, A4, etc. are uh, various uh, method of naming the synthons. Then, sometimes we are called uh, alkyl synthon. Alkyl synthons. Alkyl synthon. Or, these alkyl synthons are, say, Alkyl D synthons, alkyl D synthon, where say for example for alkyl A synthon, for example CH3 say uh, minus CH3 minus. This is what about alkylating agents, alkylating agents. This is not a functional group. But it will do the performance of a do the function of a functional group. And for example, you take methyl lithium. This will produce what is called the CH3 minus, or this is alkyl uh, donor, alkyl D donor, alkyl donor. Then likewise, alkyl acceptor, alkyl A synthon. This alkyl acceptor is CH3 plus. CH3 plus then CH3 plus where an example is CH3 tries S plus Br minus. So this is another called alkyl asymptote, alkylating agent. So alkyl D symptoms, alkyl A symptoms, D0 symptome S0 or A1 or uh, D1, A1 or D2, A2, D3, A3, etc. Now, this is the piece about the classification. And uh, you have to differentiate what is a D0 and a D1, so a D0 and a D1 or A0 and a D1, A0 and A1. For example, you take this one. Cyanide. Cyanide synthon. The cyanide synthon carries a negative charge. 
but the negative charge is associated with the carbon atom, not with the nitrogen. Not with the nitrogen. So, so, so this is just like uh, what is called uh, a carbon belong to uh, carbon become part of functional group, but carries the uh, the reactive uh, ions or reactive tender. So, this is what is called uh, D one. D one. Then this is D one. Again, say consider this one. This one. This is also a donor one. This is also a donor one. But carbon atom is not bearing any charge. It is not a reactive center. So this is what is called D zero. D zero. So you have to differentiate what is. Uh, uh, D1 and D0, or A1 and A0. That is, both the, the function group contains carbon atom. Both function group, that is cyanide. That is, cyanide is a function group. The CH3S minus is also a function group. But the first one is called D1 synthon, while the second one is called D0 synthon. The subscript, the superscript one and the zero indicate that. Here it contains carbon. Carbon atom is the reactive center. Here there is no carbon atom. The carbon atom, it, 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 even though carbon atom is present, it is the heterogeneous atom that reacts. So this is the uh, classification of uh, various synthons. Now we can see a few examples. Examples of, or we can make a chart that is synthon. Synthons, then example, then reagents. Reagents. Let us consider what is called a donor synthon. Let us consider a donor synthon. Say, first one, D zero, D zero, example, CH three S minus, the reagent. Or synthetic equivalent is CH three H thiol CH three such. Then second one D one. So there D one. Then we can see we see that cyanide ion. Cyanide ion. Where the potassium cyanide is the reagent. Potassium cyanide is the reagents. Then D two, D two, where C two two C two carries a negative charge. This is alpha carbon atom, C one carbon atom. This is C two carbon atom. This is uh, sorry, this is alpha carbon atom. Say this is D two. The uh, the reagent is acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. Then. A D three, D three synthon, D three synthon is say C triple bond C C N H two. That is one two three, which carries a negative charge. C H sorry C H two N H two. Then the reagent is the reagent is corresponding lithium. Corresponding lithium, lithium plus C minus. Then again, uh, the other one is alkyl, alkyl D, alkyl D. That is CH three minus. The reagent is lithium, methyl lithium, methyl lithium. So. Now, these are the various D zero, D one, D two, D three, and the alkyl D synthons. D zero, C H three S minus reagent is S H. Then D one synthon, that is this carbon atom cyanide. Then reagent D potassium cyanide. Then B two, this is C H two minus C H O. 
reagent is acetaldehyde then D3 this one and alkyl D the CH3 minus or methyl lithium now similarly we can make a chart of what is called acceptor synthons Acceptor synthons. Say acceptor synthon. Say A0. A0. Example P C3 twice OCG chart. <coughs> the reagent is P Cl. CH3 plus. This is an acceptor. This is called A0 because carbon atom is not the reactive center. Then A1, acceptor synthon. That is CH3C OH CH3. CH3C OH CH3. Then this is the carbon so this A1 synthon the reagent is acetone then A2 A2 it is CH2 CO CH3 CH2 CO CH3 plus then the reagent is corresponding reagent is Br CH2 CO CH3 bromoacetone bromoacetone then likewise A3 A3 then CH2 C double bond C O minus OR ester this is the reactive center. Carbon number 1, carbon number 2, carbon number 3, third carbon atom, A3. The reagent is the ester of the corresponding unsaturated acid. Then, then alkyl, alkyl synthons. Alkyl A synthon. This is CH3 plus. CH3 plus the reagent is the reagent is CH3 prime yes plus Br minus or Br minus Br minus that is the synthons example reagents these are various acceptor synthon A0 example then A1 acetone A2 bromoacetone A3 this is a, um, carbo the propionic acid the ester then alkyl this is done now throughout our uh, discussion we have seen what are synthons and the type of synthon, naming of synthon and the synthetic equivalence, synthetic equivalence, so the next is <coughs> combination of reagents with the, or the reagents carry synthons, combination of reagents carry different symptoms symptoms that is when two reagents combine together if they carry symptoms the nature of the products depends on the 
nature of the synthon salts or the product formed from combination of two reagents having specific synthons are oxidized in the following groups for example say consider an alkyl acceptor yes synthon combined with the alkyl b synthon now the product is always non functional non functional that is an alkyl acceptor synthon combined with the alkyl donor synthon then the product is always non functional one for example alkyl acceptor ch3 plus alkyl donor ch3 minus this will lead to the formation of a non functional molecule ch3 ch3 then these synthons are derived from produced from this synthetic equivalence <coughs> yeah minus and the donor synthon ch3 minus is obtained from methyl lithium methyl lithium that is combination between two reagents carrying these synthons will produce a product with the <coughs> functionality if it is functional whether it is mono di if it is di whether it is 1 2 1 3 1 4 etc or oxide or can be oxide on base of the following groups when alkyl <coughs> acceptor combined with alkyl donor you will always get the what is called non functional one then this is first one first one second one is that an alkyl donor alkyl donor or alkyl acceptor combined with a d1 donor alkyl acceptor combined with a d1 donor then this will lead to the formation of what is called mono functional mono functional molecule mono functional molecule <coughs> for example alkyl acceptor is ch3 plus alkyl donor is cl minus alkyl d1 donor then this will produce a mono functional molecule with a cyanide and the corresponding reagents or synthetic equivalents is ch3 tries yes br minus plus and here it is potassium cyanide so the functionality of the products as well as the arrangements of the, pro the functionality depends on the nature of the combination between Uh, donors or between the <coughs> uh, synthons carrying the or present in the one of the reagents. Then other one, other the third one, the third one is say third one, an alkyl A one acceptor. Sorry. A one acceptor combined with the D one donor. A one A one acceptor combined with the D one donor. Then the product is always one two di functional. Di one two di functional one. A one combined with the D one. Then <coughs> say for example C H three. CO CH3 plus 
Cn minus this kind of positive charge. So A1 acceptation bar. This kind is negative charge. That is donor. The product is CH3 C OH Cn CH3. And this is one to difunctional. One to difunctional one. One two. This is carbon number one, carbon number two. That one to difunctional one. Here it may arise a problem or doubt. Cyanide is what is called a functional group. OH is functional group. It is attached to the same carbon atom. So this may be a one-one difunctional one. One-one difunctional one. But according to this rule, that is combination when uh, combination between symbols, the carbons are numbered based on their what is called their uh, heteroatom. Based on their heteroatom. So this carbon is carrying heteroatom. Lighter than one. This carbon also carries a heteroatom O or OS. So this is one to difunctional instead of one one difunctional. Then <coughs> fourth one is that suppose I need to combine it with the D one. Need to combine it with the D one or <coughs> A D2 combined with the A1. A2 combined with the D1 or D2 combined with the A1. Then this will <coughs> cause the formation of a 1,3 difunctional molecule. 1,3 difunctional molecules. Say, for example, say. This one. This is a two. If it is Br, Br. So this is carbon number one, carbon number two. This is a two. Then a two combined with the D one. D one is cyanides. D one is cyanide. Then this will lead to formation of Cn. Then triple bond C CH two CO CH three. Now this is carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three. So in this case, a D two combined with the D one or D two combined with the A one will always produce according to this rule. There is a rule of combination between them all. Uh, it will produce what is called one three dimensional molecules. For example, say bromo acetone. You take bromo acetone. This bromo acetone produces an A two symbol. Then you take potassium cyanide, which will produce what is called D one symbol. D one symbol. Then on combination, you will get uh, this compound. That is carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three. This is one three dimensional one. Then, likewise, likewise, say A one combined with the D three. A one combined with the D three. A one plus D three, or A three plus D one, or A two with the D two. Will always reach the formation of what is called a one di one four dimensional molecule. One four dimensional molecule. So reagents carrying say uh, symbols react together. The product formed and also the functionality of the products is depends on the uh, is governed by. These rules. That is, then the question may arise: 
What happened when a reagent combined with the zero or reagent with the A zero combined with another one or B zero combined? You can see that there is no functionality. There is no functionality in it. Except to, uh, reagents are carries symbol except A zero D zero will cause the formation of carbon carbon bonding. Hence, if it combined with the say alkyl A or alkyl D. Alkyl A with alkyl D, non-functional molecules. Then alkyl A with the, uh, say D one or alkyl D with the A one. That is what is called mono-functional one. Then A one with the D one will produce what is called one two diphenyl functional molecule. Then A one with the D three or A three with the D one. Or A2 with D2 only produces what is called a 1,4 difunctional molecules. So we have in this section we have discussed the, the syndons, the various syndons, classification of syndons, and their <coughs> naming of syndons, followed by the rules with which. The nature of the function, the rules that lead to the functionality of the molecule, if the combined species are contains respective synthons. Now, let us see the remaining portion in our next video, part four. Thank you.